Hey, I'm Regardless Complex. Welcome to Cars and Coffee. It's been some months. I took a break to get my mind and everything else right, and among other things that have happened. Alright, so, like I said, the readings and stuff like that, I really don't need the cards. I really don't have to use the cards or whatever. Well, let me get a. Oops, dropped my knife. I really don't have to use the cards. Four of Wands. So this may be dealing with family, friends, and also home front, temple, and also business, actual physical home fronts as well. So, but this is dealing with family, all right? So this is gonna be dealing with family overall. Let me see what else I can get. So family, home life, home issues, security, protection, actual physical home issues. So you may have run into some problems in your home. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. Double Queens. So pretty much, like I said, I'm going to add some new stuff. I'm going to take away some new stuff. Six of Swords. Somebody may be leaving the whole home front as well. You may hear about this. Yeah, definitely Six of Wands and also Six of Swords. Double Sixes, that's 12. Uh, one plus two is three. I saw the Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody may be moving on to something better. Ten of Cups, uh, happier times. Six of Swords talks about um, leaving what no longer serves you. Things that want to just time to move forward. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So someone may be focusing on their money, saving their money, also nurturing their money, and also uh, saving and nurturing. Also, this could be that nurturing because um, the Queen of Pentacles is actually a very maternal energy. Okay, there's a card that flipped. Wait a minute. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're going to need to protect your money, assets, savings, also protecting your uh, maturative energy when it comes to finances. Queen of Pentacles is a actual mother, Nurt nurturing your stuff, like so savings, investments, um, any attributes to your finances, you need to really look at them. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, especially if you're manifesting money or you're actually... Damn, they want to say, I ain't going to say that word. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to say that word. But if you're actually manifesting, harboring money, making money, saving money, investing money, acquiring assets and things of that nature, seven of wands, you need to definitely protect your assets by also protecting your interest with those assets, money, anything like that. So even if it's just shopping or budgeting and stuff like that, so nurturing that, harboring that as well. King of Wands, Double Wands. Wands is action. That's actually physical force. It's also passion, drive, and stuff like that. That's more so three-dimensional energy. Uh, King of Wands is here. Right on top of the Seven Wands. Also being sure Seven of Swords. Okay, so another 
king. So this masculine feminine energy, because a lot of king and queens out, and no other like gesture knights and stuff like that. So you got king and queen of pentacles, and then you got the king of wands, and and you got the king of cups. No, it's the king of cups. Wait, the king of wands come out? Yes, it did. King of wands, king of cups. Then you got the king of pentacles. So this is dealing with money. So money and everything increasing. Also, this could also be for relationship issues and things of that nature as well. Uh, growth. Ten of Cups speaks about growth. Also speaks about happiness. Also in the home front, which Four of Wands came out first as the base card. That's dealing with that. That is the house of... That's Cancer. Cancer deals the Cancer house. That deals with the... Uh, Family and home fronts, like friends, family, issues of that nature, actual housing, home issues, security, stuff like that. So you may want to check into that definitely because Seven of Wands did come out. So protecting yourself, protecting your home and all that kind of good stuff, right? All right. Let me pull from the regular deck. So, I'm going to pull a life purpose card. So, I am going to change some stuff on the live streams and channels and stuff like that. So, I'm going to see if I may change maybe the date of doing cards and coffee. I'll post about it then and there. And I'm going to add some other stuff, but I'll keep it to myself until I do it. That way it can be nice and refreshing and sharing it. So let go. So this is the Life Oracle Purpose deck. It's probably one of the oldest decks I have. You probably see everybody use this deck as old as dirt and old as Methuselah, right? to holding cards. It's been so long. I hadn't did cards and coffee since, I want to say July or August. I took a break because I needed it. Doing this, people don't understand, especially you're a light worker and stuff like that. I don't really need the cards like that, but like um, sometimes it gets to be like not too much. It just gets to be boring. <laughs> and you need to take a break. You just get tapped out of it. You do it every week, every day. You get tapped out of it and you deserve a break. Whether you're passionate about it or not, it don't matter. You can be passionate about something and it's just you're meant to do something else and you're still doing this and it keeps you in a stuck position. And then sometimes you need to rest. You need to take a mental break. And I took that break. So sensitivity and let go. So let go is to walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So releasing things. Also, four of wands came out in the first spread. So releasing things from your home. I know I just donated some stuff. Um, and I need to arrange some stuff now. Also, sensitivity. Sensitivity is here. It says, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. I will testify to that. Sometimes when you have a such a, a, a sensitivity that your triggers are going to be really, 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 really bad. And sometimes people just have triggers like that. Because they are hypersensitive and they don't acknowledge how hypersensitive they are. It just depends. Okay, so writing, crystals. Writings and crystals. Uh, crystals, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. Um, I actually recommended a lady yesterday the Crystal Bible. If you get the digital copy, to make sure it's the PDF file with the uh, or the copy with the pictures. That's the best one to really learn about the stones and stuff like that. 
And also you have writing. It says you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. All right. So crystals, automatic. I get like automatic writing. When you hold something, hold a crystal. Go in a store or somewhere. If you, you if you have crystals and you're fortunate enough to have them, cleanse them, charge them up real good, and have them, and have and just hold them in your hand and see what kind of comes to you. You can actually ask your angels and stuff like that. And stuff like that but automatic writing hold your crystals bond with them and see what kind of i know a lot of people can channel through a lot of different stuff but um crystals you have to be real careful with yeah freedom you have freedom you're free to do what you choose so when you let things go and you choose to heal writing is a form of healing as well a lot of people don't know that crystals of course they have healing properties and stuff put here literally for the earth to heal the earth and stuff like that that's why they're in mounds and stuff like that or in uh rocks and stones around the ocean and bays of the ocean and stuff like that they're put there to actually heal the earth like that we just use them for other stuff now but freedom is here it says you're free to do what you choose all right, so just know, once you let go of stuff, you are officially free. Release things from your heart and your soul and your life and your home. And it can be even your email box, stuff like that. A lot of people don't know digital digital cleaning is, is a thing, too. You literally can play a video where it's digital sage. <laughs> I didn't know they created such a thing like that. So um, you have to definitely, 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 definitely cleanse out some things and remove some things around in your life that way some new things can kind of come into your life okay so creative expression your soul longs to express itself creatively all right that goes back to writing and things of that nature drawing writing actually writing and drawing painting anything dealing with illustration or even just literary work um, as far as writing and stuff even automatic writing definitely 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 creates a create maybe creative freedom for you maybe that it is for somebody and maybe healing does that for you especially if you're extra sensitive take time and create a little uh, a sacred space for yourself a quiet room a quiet space sit right think even just sit there and just pray meditate or anything of that nature was telling the guy i kid you not he he was an artist <laughs> it was a guy and we all of us in the community know who you know know him because we've known him for years he always speaking and talking to everybody as soon as you you're out in the store or walk around the community we always see him everywhere we go in this part of the community he's actually an artiste <laughs> he told me a piece of his story and i think he tried to tell me once before but i had to go but like i was saying as a light worker, you're going to, I mean, sometimes it just stop, it stops you, your missions and, and your purposes and whatever. It's going to hit you. Sometimes you have to need to sit and listen. And he told me his story, how he, uh, President Carter, he actually bought a portfolio of his artwork for $2,500. I'll never forget, forget, forget he just, he said that. I want to say he said it before, but he gave me the full story this time. And I was just like, sometimes you just stop and you listen. And I gave him some encouraging words because, like, honestly, as a light worker, you're going to be needed more now than ever. There's more darkness in the world now, right in front of our faces, than ever. So sometimes it's going to be, you're going to be, like, stopped. You're going to be in a grocery store. You're going to be, let's say, anywhere at the bank. It can be anything. And you're going to freaking be called to do this. Sometimes they're listening to people. And I did give him some encouraging words to kind of go back into uh, right. He always talks about drawing people's faces. Draw, I would like to draw you. I would like to draw you. And it's like I told him, there it's never too late. Don't let people tell you it's too late for this. It's too late for that. Because I've seen older people do better in their older years than in their younger years. You know, it's just their timing to do certain things. But I gave him some advice. He needed to just really just clean himself up, if that makes sense. I don't want to give too much of his business away. 
and clean himself up and focus and um, get his life right. Because I've seen him regular and I've seen him like the state he's in now. And he normally goes back and forth. But I gave him those encouraging words. Like, it's never too late. I don't care what nobody says. It's never too late. Like, time is no such thing as time. It's only time here because we're in a three-dimensional world. There's no such thing as time. There's no such thing as time. We cre Man created time. But there is a time and place to do certain things. But certain stuff you can always come back to, especially if like people like uh, with his situation, he, he just has to get himself together and get clean. Um, yeah, he needs to get like, just get clean. And it's just like so much, so much creative creative energy so much passion so much so much that can be used for something good let's put it like that he always talks every time he every time he talks to you i would like to draw you and i would like to you know that type of stuff so let me see what else i got this episode is not going to be long i really was only going to do 30 minutes which i think i may still stick to i builder all right so your in it ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment all right. Also, a lot of this is working with the angels and stuff like that. So, say thank you to your angels because they work really hard. Extremely. Okay, it says, uh, oh, well, your innate ability to uh, build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So, building your dreams, building it from scratch, especially your art. You may be an artist. You may be a painter. You may be anything. You may be a, a scientist. I don't know. But building your dreams, having the creative freedom to actually build build is actually very, it's alluring, but at the same time, it's very free. And you have animals. You said you understand animals and communicate in, with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life work. All right. Animals, that also include spirit animals as well. You may have just a, a heart for beings and life forms outside of, of course, you know, regular people. Um, connecting with animals is something beautiful. A lot of people don't know the joy in that. If that makes if that makes sense, to connect with other beings other than your actual humans and stuff like that actually is a it's a it creates a certain special bond with Mother Nature. Okay, family and children. Okay, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. All right, it's central to your life purpose. All right, it says your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. All right. Okay, let me see. Let me get two more cards, and I'm going to pull the Angel Oracle, and then we're going to do my deck since I hadn't used it. So give me a minute. I'm still getting used to shuffling. I hadn't shuffled cards in a minute. So I need to really sit down and just do the shuffle again. I used to shuffle my cards a certain way. Career change and infinite abundance. All right, so there is a, like I said, creative freedom again. So you got family and children. It says uh, loving your friends and family central to your life purpose. Also, we had the four of wands that's dealing with the home front, all right? So children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. All right? That goes from animals to children, so insensitivity. So that's probably where the sensitivity is coming on. Also, let go is here. Letting go things that are too sensitive as well. That's another thing as well. So you have career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve. All right? You desire and deserve. And then you're fully supported as you devote yourself to divine life purpose. All right? And I, this is like the cornucopia card, so pay attention to that. Uh, pay attention to the fall. Cornucopias, you normally see them maybe between the spring and the fall. Also, fruit and vegetables and things of that nature, more so veggie-based diets may be in, included for this as well. De detoxing and fasting as well. So, you got, you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve. All right?
right, so I am going to add one little segment since I actually met him again today. I normally see him once or twice a week to minister to that guy. So I, I did never got to make the video where I said what it's like to be chosen and really break that down. Because apparently people don't know how much hard work it is to actually being chosen to do something, being a light worker. Being this, being that, we throw these labels and stuff around, but it's really hard. Hard because you have to acquire that into your life. So, happy Sunday to you and yours. So, let me get a couple cards for Seven of Cups. So, letting go of obstacles and, and illusions. Like I said, your triggers, good or bad, find that, find what is triggering you at this time. Try and find out what's triggering you. Seven of Cups speaks about option, illusion, but also choices and also clutter. Like I said, decluttering would be perfect. It gets rid of the physical illusion of stuff everywhere because when you have too much stuff everywhere, that actually blocks the flow of energy. All right, feng shui. All right, three of cups, but it didn't turn over. Okay, well, it did turn over now. All right, three of cups. Three of cups is here. Okay. All right, I don't like how that turned over, and that's too many cards. Two. Okay, yes. All right, like letting go. You may be letting go of things and people at this time. You got the lovers, and then you also have the eight of cups going off on your journey to either find love or walking away from a love or whatever situation. All right. What else do we have? Cool. All right. Yeah. So leaving what lo no longer serves you also starts a new cycle. And also you may be manifesting this as well or acquiring the tools that you need to start a new beginning. This also the world card and the magician card. This also is travel as well. Hermit. You may be in hermit mode. I just saw the hermit card flip over. All right, what's this? Five of swords. Okay, so after all of this, right, things you're letting go, stuff of that nature. Also, um, be cautious of overindulging and partying too. Uh, seven of cups, also three of cups. Be cautious of optical illusion dealing with family and friends. Like I said, four of wands was in the first position when we first hit the first spread. All right, so dealing with your house sector that includes family, friends, and people that you know. That's also also includes includes the workplace as well with business. All right, so you have five of swords. After all the hardships and challenges, that's victory, accomplishment. Also overcoming trials and tribulations and things of that nature, especially if you're currently going through the battle. This is a new cycle. That started with a magician and everything like that. You may need to use a little, little you know, use your tools to to have a little victory with the uh, magician. The magician can manifest. That's that's dealing with magic, but also dealing with alchemy. Okay, so we got too many cards. Okay, so we got the sun card. Hey, hey, welcome to Cars and Coffee. It's going to be real quick. We're almost actually done. Thank you for viewing anyway. Got the sign card. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got, the again, the Four of Wands. That's with the, um, this also deals with marriage and family and stuff as well. Home life. And then you got the Two of Cups. All right, so in this new cycle, after you're overcoming any challenges or problems or even battle at this point, 
the sun happy also this is vitality vitality this also deals with your heart and stuff as well your health will of fortune of course you know it's finances knowledge uh spiritual balance and energies and stuff like that too good fortune good luck all that type of stuff also you got the four of wands dealing with marriage but also home life family friends in that sector which is i think the i want to say third house and then also two two of cups dealing with partnership relationship again you got the four of wands and the two of cups you got the four of wands and the two of cups that's a beautiful home life with uh friends family stuff sector so if you're letting go of a lot of uh let's say you got the seven of cups and the three of cups a lot of toxic uh things and people and things of that nature and within your new cycle you're actually gaining something new so letting go of those things actually is going to help you kind of gain that especially using the, the magician here in the upright is very positive using all your tools to even heal yourself move forward that goes for business and stuff too using all your all your eggs putting all your eggs in the right baskets and stuff like that using all the tools information you got to start your new beginning and, and um and new uh, new chapter also that big that also uh includes travel as well okay tower moment so i got the tower card oh <laughs> no Ooh, child. Okay, so after the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, boom, a tarot card. Somebody may be expecting, but also somebody may be stepping into a higher level of power and consciousness with the Empress card being here. But somebody may find out they're pregnant. All right, that normally comes with the Two of Cups at that at this point. Also, that's a part of good fortune, too. Uh, blessings. Yeah, you got the tarot card. Somebody may find out they're pregnant or someone's pregnant or actually somebody's going to be stepping into a different position and level of higher self and consciousness, which is the empress and also power, promotion and things of that nature. All right. So we got all that. So that's really good. Like I said, let it, each, each, um, each spread is actually going parallel with each other. So. You got that? And then let me pull the Angel Oracle. And I'm going to do one from my deck. I'm going to wrap it up. My foot is falling asleep, so let me move. <laughs> let me move it. And this may be coming maybe in maybe in the spring or summer months. Just be cautious of illusions and choices around you. Let me move for a second. Wait a second. Okay, so I'm going to use the Angel Oracle deck, which is probably my favorite out of all of my Oracle decks. Okay, so cards and coffee. As of now, it's going to be on Sunday still, but if I change it, then I'll, I'll kind of update it. So we may do it maybe once or twice a week just to see how it how it, it feels. I used to do it like twice a week. We'll see though. We'll see how my schedule fluctuates.
So. Okay. Oh, it's almost that time already. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's time getting on there. What time is it? Oh, it is. Ooh, okay. Okay, so. I knew this car was going to pop out. Mm. All right, I'm going to show you guys something. I want to test it out for a couple of days first. Um, if you've already been with, been watching Cars and Coffee, you know about the Detox Bitter stuff. I've talked about it before. Um, I'm going to show you this tea that I take. It's really gentle, but it's going to make you poop. <laughs> it's going to make you poop, but it's actually a really good detox tea. So I'll show you all that. I want to experiment with it for a couple of days first and make sure it still works the same way. And then this particular product is um you know, this particular product is actually a different brand of bitter and i've never tried this brand or anything close to it so i normally stick with the same brand because i like to order from that company because they get really good deals um but honey we gonna try this brand for about a couple days and we're gonna see if it really works before i recommend it as like a, like a first test type type of thing so claire sends it says our change of rego Ragul, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Alright. And also gifts from God, Archangel Sadafion, which is actually the one of the guardian angels of the Pisceans. Uh, Archangel Sadafion, we angels bring you gifts from the Creator. Open your arms to receive. Okay? So not only are you uh, noticing physical and emotional triggers and stuff like that, pay attention to other stuff. A lot of that stuff is actually uh, the guidance that you get knowledge-wise and spiritually are more valuable than what you can actually touch. 